Hello everyone, this is Sumadhur. Uh, we will be doing Chapter 2, Operation Strategy in Global Environment from the textbook 12th edition of Operation Management, Sustainability and Supply Chain Management by Jay Heiser, Barry Render and Chuck Munson. Uh, this chapter, if you've read this, deals with the factor rating and that's the related numerical problem we are going to do. This is question number 2.8 and the given information to us is that there's a Claudia program technologies that has narrow its choice and, and so on. So there are two firms from two different countries, uh, which is given here, England and Canada. And let's say this given information, we highlight this in little gray. And our choice, our, our, the task at hand is that the executives have determined the four criteria ratings which is given to us for price we are given the rating of 0.1 nearness has a rating of 0.6 technology is 0.2 and history is 0.1 now what we need to do is find out which of the two choices in terms of England or Canada is best suited and we need to make this judgment based on the given data and then draw our conclusions now first things first uh, the way factor rating works is you are given the weights you have to multiply these weights by the score or the ratings or the risk um, for either of the countries or the site and then come up with a single number based on the given rates for that particular site okay so first things we have to do is make sure you calculate the sum of weights first now coincidentally in the initial part of the chapters it'll always be one in later part of the chapters in the textbook uh, it will not always be one so it is always the best practice to make sure that you always calculate the sum of the weights and whatever that sum comes out to be we will multiply we will divide it by the sum product of weights and the scores okay now in this case first let's say we calculate the weighted sum okay now weighted sum for England would be sum product oops sum product of the weights. I'm going to freeze it in this case so then I can drag this later on for the Canada. Right now we are doing for England. Okay. So this what it does is this formula allows us to do sum of the product between 0.1 times 2 plus 0.6 times 3 plus 0.2 times 1 plus 0.1 times 1 so it saves us the effort okay now that comes out to be 2.3 therefore next thing we have to do is calculate weighted average now <clears throat> just like an a uh, normal average uh, uh, average uh, the normal average is calculated as sum of n divided by the n okay now in this case uh, the the weighted sum is 2.3 we are going to divide 2.3 divided by 1 okay so obviously it will stay the same because our weights are uh, sum of weight is 1 now, in, in case of Canada, you can simply copy and paste it here. And when you hit F2, it'll show you the, the ranges that it is referring to. So the weight stays the same because we froze it uh, in, in our formula last time when we calculated this for England. However, the moment you copy it from this cell to this cell, the, the, the unfrozen reference of the cell moves on to the corresponding zone. Uh, which is right above the cell so the range for the Canada comes into the picture and we are going to divide this 
1.7 divided by 1. Now anything divided by 1 stays the same, but this is a best practice. So then in case the weights are not uh, equals to 1, we still end up with an accurate answer. Okay. Now, um, so given the fact that we are given the information based on, if you pay attention here, the resulting ratings for the two countries are presented in the table on the next page. Now this is from a textbook question, okay? So where one is a lower risk and three is a higher risk. So in this case, the lower the risk, the better it is. So in terms of risk so far, uh, 1.7 risk factor is much better than 2.3 for England, okay? So we are going to use, you're going to say that, okay, Canada is a better choice in this case because it has a lower risk compared to England, okay? Now, also for the part B, double each of the weights used in part A, okay? 2, 0 0.2, 1.2, 0 0.4, and 0.2 respectively, okay? So let me say that this times 2 okay so now you'll see all the weights are doubled 0 0.2 1.2 0 0.4 and 0 0.2 respectively okay so this is our new these are our new weights therefore our new weight of the sums would be equals to sum of these weights okay therefore now you can keep them here as is we can certainly refer it refer to them now let's see for England let me copy cut move this here so now this is for the England this is for the Canada so I'm going to do this again equals to some product we move on to the weights and I'm going to freeze them. Select the risk ratings for England. When we control C, copy, control V, paste. So this comes out to be for the Canada. And just to double check, hit F2. That just to make sure that the correct ranges are selected. So the weight, weights are selected here times the risk ratings for the Canada, okay? Hit escape, that gives us the scores. Therefore, the weighted average comes out to be equals to 4.6 divided by the weighted sum is two, equals to the weighted sum for the Canada divided by the weight of the sum, uh, the sum of the weights, 1.7 therefore still stays the same now this is only for the reason because all the factors were multiplied by the same uh, constant which is 2 so uh, all of the weights were multiplied by 2 therefore our sum of the weights are uh, also increased by the same factor when everything increased by the same factor we divided up by the same number therefore we ended up with the same numbers now if you were not to use the sum product what you would have ended up doing would have been so this is if you were to interpret this answer to so far you will say even with the new ratings Canada is still the better choice because it has lower risk overall weighted average uh, for the risks compared to the Canada therefore we will select Canada as our preferred site now <coughs> coming back to the beginning if we were not to use some product our actual steps would have been England oops England and Canada what we should we would have done in absence of using some product would have been this times this equals to this times this so what we are calculating we, we are calculating the weighted sums at this point okay then we will add them all up such that we get the total weighted sum for each side. ok 
okay now once you get these numbers you see this is exactly the same as this one 2.3 2.3 1.7 1.7 so instead of doing all of this you can use the formula of some product right here okay that's what it does so first we calculated the product between 0.1 and 2 that gave us 0.2 then similarly when we continued with 0.6 with 3 multi 0.6 multiplied by 3 gives us 1.8 when you do s when you do sum of all these products that becomes sum of the product and that's how we use the formula sum product now freezing the cell allows us to carry the formula in the same relative position d18 to d8 d21 they're all frozen when there's a dollar sign in front of d that means the column is frozen when there's a dollar sign in front of the row number that means even the row is frozen okay so the the reference will not move for d18 to d21 this is frozen when you copy this formula anywhere else in this spreadsheet this range will stay the same now this range is free this one refers to e18 to e21 now um, if you want to check the formula in the cell you hit f2 if you want to freeze a uh, freeze a cell you click where you want to freeze and then you hit f4 till the time you get the result that you want every time it'll toggle between first putting the dollar sign in front of the column and the rows then in the column and and so on okay so in this case so far we are satisfied that's all we need to do now another one <coughs> another question we are giving given is let's say this company operations manager for the firm is trying to decide which one of the four countries should they decide first step is to select a country based on the cultural risk factor now this is again the same risk factor lower the risk the better it is okay now let me okay again we are going to do the same in this case we are given the weights six criteria the trust has a weight of 0.4 Quality has a weight of 0.2, religious has a point weight of 0.1, individual 0.1, uncertainty 0.1. Um, did we miss anything? Six criteria weighing on trust, weighing on trust. 0.4 quality 0.2 religious 0.1 individualism 0.1 time with 0.1 and uncertainty with 0.1 okay there so first is sum of weights equals to sum now one and now we start to calculate first <coughs> the weighted sum is equals to sum product this I'm going to hit F4 all both the cells and the columns are frozen from the starting cell to the ending cell comma I select the cell right above it so this will do the job for the Mexico divided by sum of the weights now i'm going to use sum of weights again and again just like the weights so i'm going to freeze it as well okay so 3.3 moving on to panama costa rica and peru therefore this one has the lowest one therefore we should be choosing mexico okay now this is based off of the given uh, weights and the given scores for the risk because we are given 1 is the low risk and 10 is a high risk. So 3.3 is more close to the 1. So it is lower compared to any other three sides given. Okay. Now in this case, we are given the choice for, for a firm with accounting software. This is marketed to a small accounting firm and all that information is given. Manila call center, Philippines, Delhi, Moscow. Following table summarizes. 
which outsourcing firm has the best rating okay so let's see same process first you calculate the sum of the weights okay comes out to one equals to first sum product to calculate the, the average weighted sum and I'm going to freeze the weights because I'm going to use it again and again for Manila, Delhi and Moscow so I'm going to freeze the weights however this range will stay unfrozen so then it can get copied when I move it over okay now just like we did in this question I'm going to divide this weighted sum so far by the sum of the weights and freeze it this will give me the weighted average right in the same cell now the numbers won't change because they're all being divided up by one so they'll stay the same make sure you hit f2 to check that it is referring to the correct ranges cell ranges okay so in this case we should be choosing Delhi because no sorry the, in this case this is the rating so higher the rating the better it is higher weights imply higher importance so in this case we should be choosing Moscow okay because Moscow has the highest rating out of the given three places okay now make sure you practice this that'll be the end of the chapter two problems